Get, don't get mad. What is up, everybody? You are tuned into another episode of Binge Buddies. I am your host and not producer for the day, Tony. And we're here on the futon in the middle of the studio. Uh, You see Manny to my left, your right. And then in the corner, producing on the day from the glass behind the other side of the wall is Michael C. Theophil. What's up, dude? What's What's going on, dude? Um, Not much, man. Super stoked for today's episode. So much to get to. This beautiful Tuesday night. It is approximately um, 8, uh, 12 p.m., Um, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll say 8, 12. What's that, like 20, 20, 100? Um, yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, 20, yeah. 20, 20, 100. 20 Good job, dude. Look at me. You big military guy. Look at me, guy being all military. You think you're, you think you're I'm cool? a little, a little fucking military. Are right you? Here. Are you regimented? You see, do you see the camera? You no, see, you don't. Because it's not. I don't there. see the camera. Life is what? Life is hard. Yeah. yeah. You know what, dude? I can tell you what else is hard. <laughs> not what, a- dude? Really? What? Really? Really? Right while I was sitting here next to me? Really? Absolutely, absolutely right. Look at you in the eye. Can't see your eyes. Doesn't matter. Like I said, ton to get to today. Uh, a couple of trailers. New Furious trailer dropped ooh, today. Ooh, ooh. Um, and then obviously in the title, Two Dream Scenario, we uh, picked up this we past weekend. Um, or Scenario, if, if you're into that scenario. sort of deal. Uh, but it started, it just hit streaming service, the Max, max actually, yeah. this weekend. So um, again, that was a great watch. Pumped to review that. But obviously, we're going to start with our Trailers. trailers. Um, and the first one uh, dropped today, courtesy of Disney Plus. Here is the Al- Acolyte, excuse me. Um, and this is another is that a new character? mini series. Yeah. So this, for my research, Manny. Oh, yeah, give me some. Love um, research, this man. takes place a hundred years before the Phantom Menace. Okay. So a full century before the beginning of Star Wars, basically. So we're going way prequel. Jeez. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, so when is this it? Um, before, this is going to be, I think, an eight-part limited series, I think it said. Um, that would be, and I don't know why I'm guessing, because I, I can pull up the notes Dude, that was right, right here in there. front of me. Oh, wait, no, hold right on. There. Now I got to scroll down. Oh, uh, look, I believe I'm in your, I'm in your shot um, June 12th, I want to say this comes out. Um, I could be wrong. I could be right. But anyway, we take a look at this trailer. I guess an eight-part miniseries. Uh, I love the fact that it's a miniseries, but let's, uh, let's look at the, the brand new trailer. Good. Yeah, buddy. I like the eight. Close your eyes. Oh. Oh, my gosh. It no, no, I think you're going to have to go to, like, the system, system settings, the settings. laptop, the Mac Your system. piece of Mac-y. shit laptop. Yeah. Honestly, dude, that, I'm sorry. That, I mean, it's tough that it happened to you, you know? Yeah. Because um, it never, it, that really happens. Never. And here, like, you know, like, I'm sorry, dude. It's not your fault. It's going to be okay. Bro. It's not your fault. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, what do we think it's about your this fault. whole new setup right here? Um, really I don't even know what you're talking about. We've always done the show like this, dude. I, I haven't. Know, close like, your eyes. Oh, we blown it. Oh, I'm oh. sorry. Um, I didn't dude, see. Everyone's blown it. Everyone's blown it. Um, bench buddies. Bro. Oh, secondary. Oh my goodness! No one knows what's happening. We're having techies. Um. All right, hold on. I think we're gonna. Oh. Stand by one second, guys. I think I know how to by. fix it. Hold on. He's got to fix it, guys. He's got to fix it. So right now, yeah, I don't know how to ad lib. I guess it's just going to be me on stage. Left. Dude, hit it. And I want to say it should be good. Oh, I'm so excited. 
Give it to me. Your eyes open. Oh, yes. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Tell me what comes into your mind. Life. Balance. I see fire. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed the darkness. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power, and who is allowed to use it. What is that? Well, that looks friggin' sick, Manny. Mm. You don't like it, man? So it's like a mix of like Matrix slash. Uh, oh my god, what was the Japanese movie that was? Uh, Mortal Kombat. No. no, 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 karate. That was like really uh, karate. Yeah, it was um, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It's like oh. that mixed in a Star Wars story. Why me? do you think it's Matrix? Is Carrie Ann Moss? No, just even the fighting. Did you see how the fighting was? It was like it wasn't. It didn't look Jedi fighting. Mm -hmm. It looked. Kung Fu, it or did. more a little bit yeah, more yeah. like Matrix. martial arty, yeah, like yeah, that, yeah, like yeah. that push. Out. Even that slide back when she yeah. came back, and even when she started fighting, and she was jumping up and she was like mm -hmm. getting pretty high and doing yeah, kind of very yeah. acrobatic type stuff. I don't know. It, and also, when they say that it, you said it was a uh, hundred years before, mm -hmm. none of this ever looks like it's different. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Like that could still be Mandalorian Tatooine time. right like, now. Dude. Exactly. Yeah, 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 I, I don't. Yeah, like, I never see that yeah. change. Even like mm -hmm. clothing or like even the way you shoot it. I guess something. I, yeah. I feel like you're missing a little bit of that because that just looks like they're like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll say it's from 100 years ago. I mean, it looks cool. Some of the action looked really awesome. I mean, it looks yeah. darker than than mm -hmm. most stuff. They're apparently ending the uh, the Jedi's, but again, that's the same yeah. story too. Is People Usual. are hunting the Jedi. Yeah, Jedi's yeah, yeah. are good. like, yeah, I guess. Right? Is it? It's always going to be like Sith yeah. versus Jedi, yeah. but red, I mean, red lightsaber, red, red, versus, right? you know. blue green. I mean, you know, I, th I think it is. I mean, it's cool that it's a prequel. Like we're going back now. I don't know. I yeah, think that's that's dope. Now we're, I mean, we're doing it, like. Yeah, I, I get. I, I. It is funny though because it is mm -hmm. like, it's going back, but it's still like the technology is still better than ours now. <laughs> right 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 so right. we're going back and we still have this type of technology still going like it's i don't know again i don't think they separate it enough to to be i, I don't know something different. no no I, I, I don't honestly know. I I don't know. that you now that you bring that up it is like i mean it is always right it, it looks the same there's nothing like new. even the jedi kids like i've yeah, seen yeah, them yeah, before yeah, yeah, yeah. and it was the same like you kind of oh, we're almost thinking like we're gonna go like before the jedi order but we're yeah. still in a time in which they're established yeah so it's like so it's like just another what's Jedi going story, on dude. i guess that, yeah you know and, and there's gonna be like I, I don't know is it gonna be like the first sith per like you know that's yeah and then i mean some of the it, it looked very mm -hmm. um japanese culture -ish, right, yeah, you know yeah. very shogun very like feudal japan -ish. yeah like and it felt yeah. that way too like some of the again with the mm -hmm. fighting too yeah yeah a lot of hand it hand. didn't it, it was like almost a futuristic like karate martial mm -hmm. arts movie that you would get yeah instead of kind of a more star wars because again star wars was never that type of fighting no literally never it's shooting 
Yeah. And then like the force that you kind of. Mm-hmm. Ah, and then fucking. And if it's, it's then it's like if there's any hand to hand, it's like yeah. so Han Solo like sucker punching. Yeah, a because trooper. Han Solo can't do it because he's a yeah. scoundrel. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You're a but scoundrel. But we did see. Speaking of uh, <laughs> scoundrels, I'm a dirty scoundrel. You're a dirty scoundrel. Boy. Um, speaking of him, but we saw a a Chewy. Oh, uh, we did see a Wookiee. A Wookiee. Yeah, thank yeah, we you. Saw, we, we saw, saw a Wookiee, which was cool. That's pretty gnarly because you know that yeah. their whole story is pretty cool too yeah yeah, yeah. still they, going they back you know like you know still friends of the jedi order which is dope yeah. so you would imagine i mean you know 100 years before the phantom menace yeah. um you know we're we're gonna have obviously yoda still in play here yeah so yeah <coughs> excuse me um you know you wonder where that's gonna bring yeah some older uh characters I mean, obviously it's like a bunch of new ones i don't really know anyone here no, i didn't recognize anything not even like from a game or, or no, anything dude or knights Cold of the old republic anything, character yeah. nope nothing no. dude <coughs> i don't know excuse I, me I, again I, I i the cool part i think about the star wars universe is that you can actually expand it and like you said like it, it's it's cool but yes yeah. like expand it and do it a little bit better i guess to differentiate between worlds between mm-hmm. decades yeah, yeah, essentially yeah. Is like we're doing you know just something something else that it's not just the regurgitated shit mm-hmm. um the regurgitated shit you know yeah for, you know every planet is either a city or like a wood area yeah. or like it's like an island that's like off of scotland you're teaching them something yeah, you got yeah all the yeah, kids yeah. and then that place gets attacked and that's a fair point dude you know do you feel like that <clears throat> Like I don't know. I mean, you think you think Disney's maybe like um, a little too slap happy with their Star Wars stuff, and you think it's kind of getting old? No, I think they just can do whatever they want, so they're just trying things out. I mean, okay. it, but but you know, you have you know, like Mandalorian. You had John Favreau. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't. I didn't see. If yeah, I'm gonna John look Favreau up right is, now. Is has any part in this? But like, that's truly also one of the reasons why it was so good. John Favreau is like a master when it comes to this stuff literally yeah you know he really is and he makes it interesting like he makes it fun to watch yeah and he uh, there's always something like the way he even shoots it you know yeah his environment on we didn't really say much about um, the the look because again it goes back to it being the the same same type of thing mike you said there wasn't a lot of like cgi and stuff in this one no i don't think a lot of practical effects or stuff yeah exactly i mean that's that's pretty cool i'm looking at it right now um uh, Leslie Headland is the creator. Um, uh, it doesn't seem like that John's name is attached to it. Yeah. So, I mean, it, you know, not to say that nobody can do something different and better than John Favreau. But, right. Right. Or right. He has to but, do every Star yeah, Wars but series. Right by now, any means. everything that he's done has become something that people want to watch. So, mm-hmm. um, maybe, maybe once we see who, maybe once we see the storyline yeah. and we get in like an episode deep and we kind of go, oh, all right, like this is what it's about. Mm hmm. Maybe, maybe when we see a second trailer, if they come out with a second trailer, we might see who the 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 villain is yeah. in this a little bit more, and and, and what the what the real because I also didn't know what the storyline was. It was kind no, of no, you like, have no idea. Just someone's just, hunting the Jedi. Exactly. We're just back to yeah. to that. That's a very broad story. So. I'm looking at the uh, <laughs> the the cast, and it's just kind of funny because again, saying that it seems like the same thing. Um, yeah. You know, there's the our character Soul, who's a respected Jedi master. Um, Kamir, who is a former smuggler, um, smuggler. Uh, Jackie Wan, who's a young Jedi, yeah. um, and Dara, who's another Jedi master, another Padawan, a Wookiee. Yeah. Did you want to get out of here, Manny? I don't know, man. Um, but I mean, it does look good. And again, I don't think it's going to be bad. I, I, I think, think it's going to be entertaining, but I just don't think it's going to be Mandalorian. I don't think so either, but I will say I do absolutely love that uh, it's an eight-part series. It's not like yeah. a new series; it's a limited series. Yeah. So, like we already know, like there's going to be a, some type of story from start to finish within eight episodes, yeah. which is great. And, and I think that it's a like you know a mini like a little excursion, a little side quest, dude. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. Yeah. That's what you have now is is just figuring out what kind of characters you're going to bring up next, and that's it. And what's mm-hmm. different than the bounty hunter or right, you know. I don't know. You you start. There's so many, so many like characters mm-hmm. in those movies. Like why? Like get away from some of those like Jedi fighting, yeah, stuff. And, and be cool if we out. saw like an alien, like yeah. a non-human main character. Yeah, someone that's you know? more like you know, like they they. It's the same thing. Like they're maybe <laughs> not directly affected or like 
Like who was right. the third power? You know, like mm-hmm. you always have the, the the big two that are going at it, but there's also some oh, yeah, smaller, yeah. like who who are they? Like those, the, the those, Wookies and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like yeah. you could do a whole Wookie. Yeah, you could do a whole. Uh, what are the little dudes? Ewoks, dude. the little Ewok movie. Like, yeah, dude. You can do a whole section. Those guys who run independent, you know. Yeah. The you little, can, the little guy. Little guy. Give like, him the spotlight for a change. See, uh, you could probably get people love that. Shit. Yeah, dude. They Eat love, that up. They love the Wookiees. Do it, they do, love uh, the just Ewoks. on the huts. You know, the huts seem to have yeah. a lot of power on the galaxy, yeah. dude. I want to know about them fat asses. Got the fat asses, right? Boy. What's their diet like? Yeah, what you doing, right? How much you bench? Bro? Are they all the same family? Like it seems like that there's just see we don't know these the things. whole species I, and everyone's related to each other. Let's figure it out. That'd let's, be so weird. Some dive. weird incestuous thing going on. Worm. I mean, what, we can't really. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That tentacle shit. Yeah. You know what you're talking about. Bullshit. Three. Whoa. Hyundai. Brian Barnaby, dude. It's always lurking. He's got to be Hampshire. watching the Rangers game. He's watching Hentai. the Rangers. Uh, <laughs> Asian. POV. Gangbang. Big ass. Massage. Hulk. <laughs> Oh amateur. my god. Uh, <laughs> amateur. Amateur. Asian. Field. Gangbang. Big ass. Massage. Public. I haven't heard that. Oh, I miss Jay. I miss Jay. Oh, oh Jay. Oh, Jay, dude. Jay yeah. Construction. yeah. Oh my God, dude. That was a special episode. He does come for me a little bit. Yeah. Yo, Jay, what the fuck is wrong with yeah. you, dude? We'll amateur. Anal. Anti. <laughs> big tits. Asian. POV. Gangbang. Stop. Big ass. Massage. Public. Jerk off instruction. He does come for me a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, the sound bites are good. The I love how you play them good. all separately and then play them all like together. Really fast. Yeah. Yeah. Jerk off instruction. There it is. Oh man. All right. I think so. The alkalite, as we mentioned, uh, I know I said June fourteenth. You fucking lied. Was, was I? Um... It's treason. Oh. It's treason. Then June fourth. By the way, June not fourteenth. I hope the child's dead. You would have been ten <laughs> days late. Those fucking and not just the men. Ten days. But late. the women and children too. I know comedy. Um, Hayden Christensen, you know, Hayden. episode Hayden episode two, I believe. Deuces. Could I speak to the drug dealer of the, the house, house please? please? I think Hayden Christensen gets a rap, bad rap. I'm just going to go out and say that, by the way. I said word. Ain't never told no lie. Thank you, Brian. Okay. Okay. You yeah, don't he, think so? I barely know who he is. So. The, the, he put Anakin. Yeah. Jumper. I could care less. He was in. He was in. Was he in the Big Short too? I think he made a yeah, small he, role in the Big other, Short. Other than that, I don't think he went on to do anything. And then the other one, the younger one, turned out to be real fucked up too. Oh, dude, we just talked about him, didn't we? Um, damn, I forget his name. I always think it's like Cole the, Dylan Sprouse, but it's not. Baby it's um, um, he just got out of rehab, or he just yeah. went into rehab, maybe. One or, yeah, one or the other. He, he's I think he may have just gotten out. Mike and I were just talking about the other day. I feel like I was Jake this. Lloyd. There he is. Yeah, dude. And honestly, like, I haven't heard him talk about it because, you know, we were looking it up and stuff. And it seems like he does, like, kind of not blame, but also be like, you know, I had, like, a fucked up time being taunted for being young Anakin and not doing a good job. I mean, yeah. At this point, like, this world is so fucked up that, like, you have to think Mm -hmm. about it. But still, back then... It was, the, I mean, it was the beginning. It was 2001. The, it, was, it was the wild, wild. Was West episode one? Internet. Yeah, that yeah, shit dude, was still was real ignorant. Um, they, they yeah. Really oh my god, shit. dude. Yeah. There was nothing that was, you couldn't regulate it. That, yeah. No. There was no like, again, wild, regulation. Wild West, so yeah. it's just like it's I can movie. see how he got fucked. Also, up. underrated movie, by the way. Yes and no. I've I've rewatched it recently. I think it's great, dude. I'm I'm happy you think it's great. Chris Klein. I I love great Chris job, Klein. Dude. That's great, but the whole movie concept is fucking stupid. It really was just dumb. Yeah. But it was like a cool, yes. like you know, sci-fi oh, Wild not West really. Not really cool. with the guy with the horn in the ear. Mike liked the movie. He likes it. The next shit. Yeah. Which one? The, the Wild Wild West. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, man. Um, dude, I forget who. I want to say it was. Oh my god, I'm trying to think of the actor. Um. Oh no, no, no! I think it was Kevin Smith, maybe, who was approached. Um, oh yeah. In writing a Batman movie, I yeah. want maybe Superman or Batman. It was a superhero movie. Um and um, what'd you say, Mike? Nothing, nothing. Did you uh, say something, dude? <laughs> Damn, bros, I just missed the whole dream scenario review. review. What a s- no, you didn't, scenario. bro. Yo, no, Captain Howdy, we didn't start we it yet, started dude. It, we're, dude. We're still in the in, in trailers right We've now, dude. We've been chit chatting, um, dude. Anyway, so um, 
Kevin Smith, right? Hired to do this Batman gig, yeah. whatever. And then one of the producers of the film was um, getting too much into his script that Kevin Smith was writing, uh, like putting, getting his sticky fingers in. I want to change certain things, but he, and he was Kevin Smith was saying how he was obsessed with having a giant spider yeah. be like the villain, you know. Uh, so, uh, um, and then he I goes, so you know, like I end up not. It's not working out the Batman movie. What I leave, whatever. I end yeah. up doing whatever other movie. And then he goes the following year. Um, you know, that producer puts out Wild Wild West. Yes. I'm like, oh, let me go see it, whatever. Yeah. Um, and wouldn't you know it, you know, at the very end of the movie, this giant freaking spider. Yeah. Um, and there was I, a big laugh that. about it. I think I saw that on a TikTok. Um, really? Thing, yeah. I saw that in real per real life because he said that to me, Kevin Smith. Yeah, he was just in conversation, him and I. He said, hey, uh, yeah, it's no big deal. Let's go have a quick know, I, was just, I, was his, I was at his house in Burbank, oh, right, New cool, Jersey, cool, one cool, time. Cool, dude. Cool, cool. Were you wearing your, um, your, your hockey jersey? Look, my hockey jersey? Yeah, I was. Nice, nice. And I told him that I wasn't supposed to be here today. Oh. Yeah, that's what I said to him over and over again. Like, wait, dude, I can't be here right now. I'm not supposed to be here. (sighs) But for him, you did it, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was was a nice guy, dude. Jersey, Good friend does, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Anyway, that was just a little side note there. I I kind of forgot how we got. Oh, Wild Wild West underrated. Hayden Christensen underrated. Yes. Um. A couple yes. comments we have to get to. By the way, uh, Matt Gabriel, top of the show, said, "Let's go, dude." Josh B. The house is with a fam. Looks oh, good. Wow. He says. I would imagine he means the set. No, just um, me. no he meant the trailer. He you done? Oh. Oh. All right. All right. No, my bad. Mar- 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 and then Captain Howie did that already. Oh, dude. Betty says, and then Watsy. Says reminds me of when the studio just took control of Ed Norton's Hulk film. Oh, um, dude, that, yeah, dude. That, uh, that, uh, we were talking about it the other day, actually, too. Mike and worst, I, yeah. um, Mike and I do a lot of talking the other day. You guys talk a lot. Um, the, really the, the other day, a lot specifically yeah. on the other day. Oh, shit. Um, but I think we had like I don't because we don't have we don't have the Ed Norton Hulk. That's why on VHS uh, that's why we you need that. Talking. We have the Eric Bana one. Eric Bana. Um, or, Eric Bannon. Uh, what's his face is in in the Ed Norton one. I love him too. He's the the military dude. Um, the bad guy technically. Don't tell me right now. Oh yeah, the lie to me. Yeah, yeah. lie to me and uh, Pulp Fiction, obviously. Yep. Reservoir uh, Dogs with the nose. I, for some reason, Tom Hardy is in is, my is, head but right that's now. That's totally not it, dude. Obviously not Tom Fucking Hardy. Not Tom Hardy. What the hell is his name? And I just went with Eli Roth in my head. That was. Isn't that no? That's right. No, it's not. Not Eli Roth. Not Eli Roth is uh, dude. Is it n- Eli Roth is the director now? Eli Roth is the bear dude oh, from yeah, That's Assassin. right. You're right. That's right. That's yeah. right. By the way, did you know about who was supposed to play that role? No, who? Adam Sandler. Get the fuck out of here. Quentin Tarantino wrote it for Adam Sandler. No, but Adam shot. Sandler was doing funny people with Judd Apatow at the time and couldn't oh. do it. That sucks. Yeah. That well, I mean, I don't know, man. That's crazy, though. I mean, he I wrote like, it for him. Yeah, that is kind of crazy, but I think it worked out for the best. Oh, because funny people was a good movie. It was great, and so was and, and obviously it worked funny out. With Ray Romano. <laughs> oh, I, I will. <laughs> I love that. It's Tim Roth. Tim Roth. Tim Roth. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Tim William Roth. Hurt. Yeah. That's right, dude. That, dude, that movie was actually fun, and it was a little yeah. bit different than your yeah. what we've been seeing in there. Um, honestly, the I, I, I mean, I don't know the the uh, Eric Banner Watts, one. He wasn't says he that also wrote either. Django for Will Smith. Oh yeah, yeah. Django oh yeah, I did hear that. Also, kind of worked out too. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> Jamie Foxx did a great I'd job there. Jamie Foxx. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know, dude. Will Smith. <sighs> you know, he passed on the Matrix. For Wild Wild West. For a while, yeah, that's right. Yeah, for Wild, for Wild, West. Wild Wild West, yeah. Which also happy that happened too. Because that was a Keanu, yeah. and of course Wild Wild West with Chris Klein and Eric Brana. Brana. You know good lines from that. You always do lines from that movie. Wild Wild, Wild, Wild West. West. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right. You think so? Yeah, I think I can. I, I, I can do. Yeah. He always pulls it out. <clears throat> we might have to, we might have to find those. Marco guys. says, "Hey, buddies, hey, playing buddy. Marco." I'm playing Marco, playing MLB 24 the show. Making, oh, you are right now, Marco? Oh, you are right now. Yo, that's sick, dude. dude. We're going to play tomorrow night gaming corner. Brian. I'm playing. I'm beating him, Tony. Yeah, Michael can play all he wants. He's never going to win. I was, saying, I was there. I was with the, uh, the, the Nets yesterday, the MB2K. Uh, oh, nice. Jersey, yeah, yeah. Jersey Nets? Yeah. No, Brooklyn Nets. The Brooklyn Nets. Now, Brooklyn yeah, Nets. Yeah. And they were, one of them, they were playing that. And they were talking about yeah. the MLB game. And they were playing. And they're fucking. That's good. awesome. It's funny. They're good at it, too. Doesn't matter what video game these kids fucking gamers a gamer man, dude. You it's know? insane. I walked in. One of them was playing like Call mm-hmm. of Duty. The other one's playing, doing actually NBA 2K right. practice. The other one's playing. Wow, Watsy. 
It's crazy. That's sick, dude. You should probably um oh thank you, Watsy. Thank you for the sub as well. What's up, Watsy? Happy you appreciate the channel. Um, that's what we're here Cold for. Bastard. Bastard. Um, Beautiful bastard. Obviously, if you want to talk about anything we're talking about, feel free to call in. My number's in the bottom right yeah, there. That is my cell us. phone number. Yeah, call in that um, you can call cool. on the show. Cool. He loves it. Cool. Uh, Marco says yes and laughing emojis. Yes, um, you know what picks. you should start doing next time you have like a two K shoot, you should like get a business card that says like Manny Santiago Gaming Corner. Gaming Corner. Like, yo. Just have them. You come see me, yeah. Play some cart and twisted Definitely. metal. They don't know about those games. They don't know about that game, no. dude. No, they only know about these. You should be like, I know games. a guy named I know Tony, a guy, dude, yeah. and he will whoop all your ass. You can say, hey, I go see Theophil sends his regards. Yeah, two K. Boom. Oh, see you later, alligator. Two K. No, that's right. 2K. See you later, alligator. They're 2K. good to me. No, yeah, that's dope, dude. Um, but yeah, no, that that game's fun. It looked fun. It, dude, but the funny part about those games is that mm -hmm. I realized I didn't realize how much more stuff they added for you to do. Like, dude, it used to be you pitch and you choose two out or three pitches that you can choose. Oh, from. yeah, yeah. Curveball, mm -hmm. fastball, and changeup. Mm -hmm. And if you had like a special dude, you had like a slider. Yeah, yeah. And dude, back in the day, there was like every, the and fielding just, was automatic. Yeah, and then you, you just like, now I saw like you have to fucking get the ball, press A at the perfect time, yeah, and it dude. goes like slow mo and shit. I was like, and then I'm sitting there fucking, I bought one of those, you know, the mini game console, consoles mm -hmm. for, for real cheap that have all the old school yeah. arcade. I found like this baseball one that was awesome. Too. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, it yeah. was like a robotic baseball guy. I don't Tony. know if you ever watched it. No, I don't that, think dude, so. It was awesome. So cool. That's Loved sick. Uh, yes, Mikey. I think you forgot about something. Oh, fuck, dude. What time is it? Yeah, draft but at no, nine. We got time. We got, it's 20 minutes. You got the ninth pick, good sir. Um, wow, they're really on me about this, dude. Jeez, what's going on? Um, is this, you know what, dude? Oh, oh, so we're doing a um, fantasy baseball oh, league, goodness, of course. Um, and of course, he's doing it on the show. On the show. Right? Listen, I didn't ask for this, dude. Okay. Put that cookie down. Thank you. No! Um, because I, I have it open here, and I'm just like, uh, I'm sure, like when it's my time, I, I'll, I'll come up. I have the ninth pick. I have the yes. ninth pick out of yes. ten. Out of ten. Yep, you're a loser. Sucks. Yeah, right. Seems rigged already, Josh. I actually think maybe there's 20 people. It doesn't matter, dude. You know what, dude? It doesn't matter. I don't know if I'm anyway, dude. Um, I'm going to join. Anyway, uh, Josh B, thanks for the reminder, though. I really appreciate that, dude. Um, and also, like, what did you do on your birthday, bro? You didn't even fucking say anything. Yeah, let me know. He doesn't care. Um, who, who doesn't care? He doesn't. Josh, that Josh, guy, that guy um, right I think, I think he thinks he cares. cares a little. Like, no, I'm cares. just joking. He told me. He told you to because I asked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Josh says yes, Tony. I had 11 of 12 in my draft yesterday. Is that supposed to make you feel better? <laughs> he said I sent you all my food. I sent you all my food. Yeah, he did. He did. That's right. He did. Um, and it was, it was, you know, it was Sunday, so I wasn't, you know, got some food on Sunday. Um, I hope the child. Uh, I mean, I got food Sunday. But I also had a lot of alcohol on Sunday, so it's I was, you know, things fuzzy. You were um, uh, I had some shepherd's pie. I was happy. You should, oh, I tried. You got that good food. I saw the good food too. Oh, baby. You're not gonna make it. You're not gonna make it, dude. Irish bread so uh, Irish soda bread. Irish oh, bread, bread soda. soda. <laughs> I mean, that sounds have nuts, you ever heard dude. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a banana banana pudding to uh beer once. That shit was delicious. I defy uh, banana, bread, banana bread, banana uh, bread beer. Oh, I'm fucking confused by dude. what you're trying to say have right now, dude. Banana, banana bread, bread beer. pudding. Oh. Banana bread beer. Oh, banana. No, yeah, no, I haven't had that. Yeah, it's a, a flavor. Banana, banana, banana bread. bread. So good. Dude. You got some banana bread. Banana bread. Okay. Yeah, pass over the Yo, banana bread, please. Banana bread. Um, dude, this whole thing is really weird. I'll do that. Pops up. Oh my God, dude, that looks crazy. Furiosa. Um, wait, hold on. Michael's in my ear right now. He's saying, Thanks. get to the trailer. So, Furiosa is coming out. Um, fuck, I just had that open to my. Uh, <laughs> what's the date, dude? May, May 24th. 24th, dude. Thank 24th. you very much. Right there. Furiosa! We've come too far. Let's go. 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 Let
refugees from a place of abundance. This is our destiny. My childhood. My mother. I want them back. I want them back. <laughs> Whatever you have to do, however long it takes, Thomas will find your way home. Protect the green place. It's time to take what's rightfully ours! Ray! Sammy! Go! If you find him, he's mine. There will always be war, but to get home. Furiosa fought the world. Remember me. All right. So, um, you know, I, and I can speak for myself here because I always do. Um, I mean, you do. But, uh, you know, I, I, I've seen a lot of Furio. I've seen the Furios trailer, like the original one, like yeah. a, a ton of times. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, Mike and I were just ripping movies in the theaters recently. So Obviously, it. every time we go there, it's pretty much the same trailers. Same shit. Same. And every fucking time, it jacks me up. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I really can't even get enough of that trailer. The the the, the music. I love Chris Hemsworth, char- uh, his character. Um. I don't know. I think I feel like recasting, even though it's not recasting, it's kind of prequel, but like yeah. that's Charlize Theron's character. character. Yeah, it's like her. Um, it's her origin thing. Yeah. So like, I, and, and I don't know. I think casting her with Anya Taylor Joy is dope. I think yeah. she looks great. Well, no, um, I, I think it's the second trailer. I think it's just nothing really new. No. no, 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 no. Just hyping you up, and I think I like. I still have the same feeling. It's gonna be a sick movie. Right. Nothing really changed my opinion with this trailer it was mm-hmm. just kind of like all right and you kind of see her cutting the hair and you're like oh yeah, yeah. you see now there's a transformation going on right 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 like mm-hmm. that but nothing that was like extra i guess oh no i mean i think it's a, know, i think it's awesome the story is you know your classic revenge spot um so you love to see that and uh yeah like, like you said i mean it just it looks yeah. great this new trailer reiterates it looking great yeah. uh marco can't wait for ghostbusters frozen empire um i'm interested in it i wouldn't say i can't wait for it i'm a little um, brian hyped them it. drafting live yes let's go Drafted. dude first time ever by the way uh, i'll keep saying that uh why did that little girl sound like hermione from harry potter trying to cast a spell <laughs> wow dude um i don't uh, a little orchestra cover of Man Who Stole the World. I dig it. Love that. And then Tommy Corabonis. What's up? TK Diesel says Babe 3 looks dope. Babe 3. Babe 3, anyone? Like the pig, babe? Don't lie to me. Don't play me like that. I'm going to Google that right now. Though. Babe takes takes on the world. Is that what it is? Babe 3. Oh, my God. On Netflix? Really? No. Yeah, dude. Oh, well, baby season three. Oh, this? baby season. No, oh, baby I don't know. He said baby. No, three. that's three years ago. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Babe, <coughs> no. Babe. That's no. Babe. That's yeah. I don't know. Maybe TK Diesel did a little, little spelling mistake. It's a George Miller movie. Oh, wow. It's dumb. It's a dumb joke. Oh, because oh, George George Miller. Captain Howdy, Babe 3, um, Cruise Control. Oh, my God. At least oh, Captain Howdy got yeah. it. Good job, TK. Howdy, Taylor Joy uh, has a great presence, even in 30 seconds of Dune Part 2. Thank yeah. you, um, <laughs> Wadi. I'm sorry. I can't really see it from you. Watsy? Watson. Like Watsy? Sorry, I just had a bunch of pizza before this episode. Hi. And I had this Coke so that's very coke. carbonated and caffeinated. Hi. And I had much sticks that were too greasy. Too greasy. Wait, um, I'm glad I didn't have any of those. Um, wait, you didn't have any? No. What the fuck? Why didn't you try one? I know comedy. Now I have to get them again so you try it, dude. Yeah, and none of us. That's just Sniper. 
Um, but yeah, it was. You know what it is with with with, and I'll say Beverly's whatever. Their pizzas, their bacon pie is delicious. Is Go get it. That's it. Well done, amazing. Um, the last time they did a uh, light onion, solid. You know, light onion. Um, but uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like their mistake with the mozzarella sticks were in the packaging because they put them. It's tough in dude. like this. Those fried foods are tough to do. Like, I know. If you put them in styrofoam, you got to poke holes in it so yeah, the yeah. air comes out, so it doesn't just. All the condensation right. gets it soggy and gross. Come on. I mean, I don't want to say, yeah, you know, right. Staten Island pizzerias do it right. Um, Staten but Island shit on Staten Island, most of, not all, but most of the pizzerias, they will put the mozzarella sticks in a tin, like the tin thing yeah. with the plastic top, poke holes in the plastic top, but also yeah. lay down a little bed of lettuce that yeah. soaks up the oil. Yeah. In such I mean, a way I guess. Um, that keeps the mozzarella sticks crispy. Those were really good, though. It was breaded. weird. The breading was weird. It felt raw. It was it, weird. Like, raw, funny, as yeah, as that sounds, dude. Raw breading. Raw. Mm. <clears throat> Man, he hates when it feels raw, raw dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my He's, god. Oh. 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 Um. Anyway, we had this three roads trail. We're gonna take a look at it here before uh, before we move on to anything else. <laughs> I got Mike. Michael was like, yo, you should see Mike's face. Mike's like, oh like, my God, no! You're like, this no, dumb fuck, that. dude. Am I on the right show, dude? Am I on the right Is show? It it? I just got some wicked deja vu, Ooh, man. Yeah, you said trailer. We, I almost put on the trailer. Oh, dude, deja vu reminds me of a dream I had, which is a great segue to our uh, next, next topic, topic, dude. We're reviewing a movie called Dream Scenario or what, Scenario. What's the scenario? And I'll continue to make that reference all yeah, episode long. Um, so Josh says he's not lying. Oh, read the fucking lettuce of the mozzarella sticks. Josh, uh, me knows yeah. what I'm talking the about. The mozzarella sticks. Um, you might just be going to the wrong place because a lot of places that I've gotten from here, they have the the mozzarella sticks on top of a bed of lettuce. No, well, Beverly's doesn't, like, I don't know, dude. They, they don't believe they in anything. Some... They're just not good. I said that they're not good. I don't good. even know where Beverly's is. It's Where's just Beverly's? that, dude, it's everywhere and nowhere. That's what's... Yeah, that's, that's where that's Beverly's is, dude. That's what's up. It's the nexus of the universe, the dude. Nexus. You know that... um. That eclipse is happening. It's crossing yeah, right, over. right over. Beverly's is yeah. the cross of the yeah. eclipse thing, The minute dude. it touches, you just see if yeah. it's... Oh, yeah. yeah. And then, then we'll all know who's who. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so Dream Scenario, pretty stoked about this movie. Came out in theaters a little while ago. Yeah. Um, but obviously, we never saw it. We did not. Um, because I don't know why we didn't see it. We were, they think we were busy, but it just hit max, which obviously streaming service, like you know, one, it's like a little it was booster. Like one or two, or, or it was like one, two, or three of one of the movies that had come out at the same exact time I know, dude. that he had put out. Yeah. And one of them came out on, I think it was Amazon, and it wasn't really that good. That one was. Uh, Oh my god, what was it called? It was retirement plan. And, oh my god, retirement plan. Yep. And it was like, eh. So we were like, well, maybe we'll give this a chance. I mean, if we want to just get into it, I will say the first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you really want to get into it, dude. I don't know, man. Actually, you tell me what you thought. You give me your rundown first. Um, I thought it was uh very much so a Nicolas Cage movie. Yeah. Um, I thought what. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I thought that it was well filmed. Honestly, yeah, I mean, yeah. A twenty four. Everything looked really cool. Um, there were some like, you know, pace changes in the movie that really caught me. Like when he was out yeah. with that chick, yeah. and those quick cuts in succession of him getting up from the table, going to the counter. Yeah. Like that was super cool. Um, and it was very much like, um, uh, like I got to know the type of person he was right away. And it was like almost someone that you, like, pity. Would have like a secondhand embarrassment for, yeah. um, basically like Nicholas Cage is, is a he's a loser. Yeah. All right, he kind of is, and also like he turns out to be like not a good person In either. General, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. It, that was the weird thing. It's like throughout the whole movie, it was a roller coaster of how you felt about it. Right, because you really did fucking hate, you hated him. You kind of did, dude. And then sometimes you're like, oh shit, yeah. Like, it sucks. And it also got me thinking, like, wow, like how would I respond in this type of situation too? Like. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't easy what he was going through either. Um, but basically, Michael, so um, we're going to fill in Michael here. Fill him in. Um, so this movie, Dream Scenario, Nicolas Cage plays this professor, history or geology or something, dude, something at some university. Um, or, yeah, yeah plants, yeah. whatever. 
Um, it was, yeah, it was a science field because he was doing studies anyway. He's like 50, whatever. He's you know, Nicholas Cage, bald. You yeah. saw the photo of him. Oh, um, they, they, yeah, and he has like a, a boring class, dude. Yeah, he's not like an attractive nose, man. Yeah. Um, and he like, you know, haphazardly runs his family. He has two daughters and a wife. Um, it seems like that the husband and wife, like, yeah, I guess they love each other, but it seems like it's a boring marriage. Um, the daughter's obsessed with their phones, technology, typical kids, whatever. Um, so like he kind of struggles to keep his family, like, you know, glued together. Um, and then on top of that, you kind of realize that he was like, he is a nobody. A complete like, nobody. The, the way the movie starts is that, you know, like one of his, you know, friends, I guess, like publishes this book and you just hear him like, in past. He's like, oh, I'm going to dinner with them. I got to talk to them about like there's some mistake, whatever. And basically, like you find out that this woman who he went to college with 30 yeah. years ago yeah, yeah. Um, ends up just publishing a book. Uh, about some study that he had talked about in college, but then like she actually did the work and stuff. Yeah. But he's been saying for thirty years that oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the research. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, write it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write, write this book. book. I'm gonna do this. Yeah. And obviously, never does. He's a fucking lazy, uh, unmotivated well, sack was, of was, shit. Was, a lot it, of people. Yeah, it was kind of like though, because right the way I saw it was the fact that he was like it, the story was all about that reaction and it's almost like mm -hmm. almost cancel culture pretty much it's yeah, literally yeah. just that just in a in a more like mm -hmm. it became a thriller it was yeah i mean again like, those a24 movies i feel like they always have like like a message they have societal yeah, like yeah, you know takes narratives more, yeah. which is fine i mean i think that a24 is a lot of the movies they they do it quite tastefully, you know. 100%. Um, it's not like uh, it's not like um, a Saltbird movie that was just like too outlandish just for just, the sake of being outlandish, you know. Like 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 Poor Things was outlandish, but so they did a good this, job. Though, and, because you know. what I I actually ended up watching it two two mm -hmm. days two, uh, during two separate days, and I watched the first. I don't know how long the mm -hmm. whole thing was, but I had forty minutes left. Right. Right. So I ended right when the whole class is in the gymnasium and they're trying to introduce him back in. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. So that's where I end. And so up until that point, I was like, holy shit, mm -hmm. this is fucking insane. It is completely changed. Cause it also started like that. Mm -hmm. It started yeah, with yeah. him and the girl, the lady that was behind the counter being like, looking at him. Like, right. You, you just look familiar. Yeah, you get the subtle hints of like, yeah, what's going to happen. And every little, thing, little look and that works out. Yeah. But then those last 40 minutes kind of, it, it was almost like two different movies. It was like yeah. someone did a really fucking good job in the first half and handed it off mm -hmm. to somebody else on the second half. And the second half, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, this was going so well, and there were so many things, and then all of a sudden, like, you just... Lo I lost interest. Mm -hmm. They had me. They had me until that moment, and then I restarted it, and I'm watching it, and, like, this happened. I'm like, oh, and now, yeah. now he's just being... And then, like, I don't know. In my head, I'm like, these, like, if like, if this happened to you, mm -hmm. but if you were, if someone was in your dream like that, like, I don't know. It just, it got a little, it got a little too crazy. Yeah, yeah, over yeah. the top for me. I think right mm -hmm. after that point. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, like, it definitely took a turn where I didn't expect it to. Um, cause afterwards, so like, you know, everyone obviously has Nicolas Cage in his dream and, and he becomes popular, you know, yeah. and that's kind of where you like, you feel for Nicolas Cage. Cause he like that at the end of the day, that's really all he just wanted to be somebody. Yeah. You know, he didn't want to be just that guy who went through life and that's what he is. So you're kind of like, oh, this guy like hates his life, yeah. hates himself. So like you kind of feel for him because like obviously everybody wants to be, you know, wanted and popular and like somebody and stuff. And then like, yeah, exactly. Well like nobody wants to feel sad yeah. about themselves, no, really. That. Um, and then finally, this guy literally almost overnight, like everyone's and that you like everyone has these dreams with him in it. And it and, also starts with his daughter. His yeah, daughter, yeah, his has, daughter has a dream, and he's like, yeah. You don't think I right. wouldn't help you mm -hmm. in real life? Like that. Yeah. yeah. At first, and again, like, oh, that, I kind of like that pacing too, because sometimes yeah. you'd be in a dream and you wouldn't know it. Sometimes you'd be in a scene, you think, yeah, oh, yeah. "Are we in someone's dream?" Because that's how they would introduce it. Like yeah. different people would have different types of dreams with him, and some people would have like scary dreams. But everyone, you it know, all, it all started off mundane, and it mm -hmm. was just him being there, and then it right. gradually became an issue He'd or be it became that he was doing something doing something in the dream yeah. and then it got to yeah to points where it was like asexual and mm -hmm. it was like creepy and like the girl that loved it 
that was just like trying yeah, to that was crazy it, but again it goes to it's like societal shit it's like mm-hmm. you, you see something virtually and you think that's how it is right people watch porn and think mm-hmm. that's how life is right 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 when it's two actors right. just doing something you know what i mean that's how my life is yeah i mean is that how your life is just <laughs> life, you know? i mean i got you on this couch oh, don't I, got I? You. <laughs> I got you on this <laughs> couch <don't I? laughs> Real quick, before you keep continuing on that couch together, fellas. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this isn't a casting call? <laughs> are, well, it is. It's transitioning just like the movie did in the second <laughs> half. Tommy says, dream scenario is like A24's Costco sampler to Bo is afraid. Really enjoyed it, though. Yeah. And the Captain wow. Howdy said, what Tommy up there said, uh, Bo is afraid parallels makes make sense, sense because Ari Ar- uh, Aster helped him produce right. it. And, and then Josh B said those. 10 minutes ago, 10 minutes, Tony, LOL, no one was getting on you. Like no one's getting on me. Uh, like everyone was getting on. Like and sexually then, or just like sexually. What? You can. Uh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, that's what he meant. You can definitely tell second half drag too. Yeah, man, it was like you could have definitely shown that up, and shit would have been better. And then it was it got too crazy, and the whole, the whole, um, <laughs> the loser on the side of the car, and then like them standing there, they're yeah, just looking at yeah. the crowd, and they're like just. That fucking girl with the nose ring. I was like, I fucking hate you. Mm-hmm. I hate you so. Oh much. my god! Yeah, yeah you yeah. are that type of person that I just want to just fucking shake. Right. And she, but the piss. A lot of things just started to make me mad. Yeah. Half. No. Yeah. I mean, I understand. I felt that way as well. I think at some points, but I don't know. I feel like the second half, like again, to me, the story was so like I was always I was wondering the whole movie. Like, how are they gonna like? Like, how is this going to end? Well, yeah. Like, then, how are we going to go about this? And then the minute, like, I think it was probably like 15 minutes after I started it the second time. That's when you jump in and you finally get into that whole fake advertisement that they throw at you. After it goes to, f- it fades to black. Mm-hmm. And it stays black for like five seconds, mm-hmm. five, ten seconds. And then it pops back up just like this. Yeah. And it's this commercial mm-hmm. about going into people's brains and yeah, yeah, yeah. marketing into their brain. That was amazing. Dude, I kind of forgot you. about that, dude. Yeah. Captain um, Howdy. That part was Which crazy. is like, you're, I'm saying they're going like, I don't understand why they are trying to like put the, because it was like they were, they said, all right, this is the way we're going to end it. This is how it's going to be the ending. And we need to put it in there mm-hmm. of him actually like using this tool. And it's like I felt they were trying to do the Inception thing where you're like, I don't know if this is real life or not and all this shit. I don't know. It was fucking a little annoying. But give me this comment. I can't read from this far. I'm old. The guy who directed it definitely has an M.O. He has some short films with similar themes. Yeah. The surrealism takes an easy to fuck up idea like cancel culture yeah. and makes it more palatable. Agreed. It was yeah. just they just didn't. I, I think they did really well showing that at the beginning. And they did it in a way that you yourself have to kind of like question it, figure it out. Then that fucking final third was them trying to shove it down your throat, thinking you didn't get it the first half. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. right. Oh, now I have to do this whole fake advertising thing. So do you understand what these are now and how his story led up to this, I guess, Mm -hmm. you know, like, I don't know. It, it just didn't. It didn't work out for me at the end. Honestly, I kind of thought that and the um, last line too pissed me off. What was it? The last line was like, "I wish this was real" or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was that he invaded the dream. He was of yeah his the ex-wife. whole time. And of course, yeah, he's yeah, real yeah. creepy about it. And they did do a good job with that creepiness when she's at the house, when he stops at mm-hmm. her uh, at the house to to tell her that she's going to like uh, Paris and all that shit, and she's just like, "Oh yeah," and then all of a sudden it it. They did the thing where it's like it's half a dream, half not, pretending that it was fake and, and then reality. Mm-hmm. And he's like, they're crying together. It's all happy. And then all of a sudden it goes back to like them deadpan. And she's like, all right, well, then, uh, yeah, I guess you, you don't have to come beforehand. It's fine. And then they leave and they end it. Yeah, yeah, which is like, I don't know. I mean, the ending, again, like, I, I don't know. I wasn't uh, really sure where he was going. Her, and he asked her at that point. He's like, why do you keep on asking me if you, I've seen you in my dreams? He goes, oh, no reason. It's because he was fucking trying to do it. Yeah. It's just like, like, obviously, like you didn't, like, yeah, right? Like, how she yeah, not? No, like, why are you asking? And that's another thing. No one gave an explanation as to why some people had it or what. Like, it just disappeared. What? Yeah, and they didn't, I don't think, explain well enough, too, with that device. There was a lot of yeah, easy yeah. outs that I think they did, and it was just like, oh, yeah. I think we can leave it broad enough for people to have to think 
and figure it out themselves. But they just didn't do it well enough, I don't think. Captain Howdy adds, um, yes, dude, the ending with the talking head suit that she wanted him to come into her dreams with save with saved the ending for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Either way, I mean, yeah, it, the ending was, I guess, kind of crazy. It just took me out. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't think it took me out necessarily. Um, because again, I feel like when he when he started being all like weird or like killing people in their dreams, like I thought we were gonna get somewhere cool with that. Yeah, I guess I kind of did then too. It just stopped. But I feel like I was like, I don't know. Sometimes it's like, yeah, I know. At the end, he was popular again. He was doing the book tour. How did they? Well, and of course, they do the book tour. They do the Freddy, and then the, the, the reference to Freddy Krueger in that whole thing. Like, ew. I guess it's cool because you're giving him things but it was just yeah. oh, like, like that's this, his backstory yeah no mm-hmm. they were they were like calling him the freddy krueger you know because he was in the dream so like i don't know and then there he does the cover to his book and on the cover mm-hmm. they give him like this metallic like fucking wolverine claws that that uh that uh freddy, freddy has yeah so it's, someone called they like, him freddy krueger right? so they're basically hinting like yeah. that this yeah. is an alternate maybe it, it, prequel well they were no they were it's more of making fun of it and being yeah. like oh like you're the Freddy, Freddy kills you yeah. in their dreams because no one ever actually dies. Mm-hmm. They're just all afraid. Mm. But again, it's just like, dude, it's a fucking dream. Stop being a pussy. That part pissed me off. But, yeah, I, but, know, see, like that, but I also know like, that's why it's the societal. Boy, I can relate to that because I've had spooky ass dreams and I'm like, I have woken up freaked out and I hate even to think about it. And I don't want to see anyone who I saw in my dream. Yeah, dude. But yeah, dude. I mean, to the, to the, to that point, Sorry. Tony, who'd you pick? Uh, I haven't picked yet, by the way. It's the seventh pick. I am the tenth, right, or eleventh, whatever they say, or tenth, eighth, ninth. What it doesn't matter, dude. He's just, um, I'm actually kind of nervous. I've never really dude, done this before, nervous. so um, he's sweating bullets because it's so cold in here. It's actually quite comfy in here. It's so hot in here. Um, I'm comfortable now, actually. Oh shit! I am drafting now. Oh, he's drafting. Um, <sighs> Guys, who do you think he should draft? Tatis Jr., dude. Oh man. Titty oh, Jr. God. Matt Olson. I don't think no so. Knows about Matt Olson. Um, oh, dude, I kind of wanted Freddie Freeman, but it looked like someone took him. You wanted Freddie got fingered. I mean, I guess I'll take Tatis, maybe. Dude, Tatiana. Oh, what do you think, Ali. dude? I don't know. Who else is available? Um, I got Kyle Tucker, outfielder for Houston. I don't think he's better than Tatis. Otani, but he's only batting. Trey Turner. Rank twelve. I'll I'll take I'll take him. I took him. I would have gone out time. I also like feel bad to like take my time because everyone was picking quick, dude. And I feel like um Josh B, you're up. Take Kyle Tucker. No, no. Kyle Tucker, dude, I'm telling you. Houston, I don't know, dude. We don't know, dude. We don't know about Houston. Um, you take him, bro. You take him. Take Houston. Um, anyway, dude. So I don't know. I Damn, dude, the ending really talking about it. Now, I hate now because now you're thinking dude, about honestly, it. Honestly, I hate when I come in here and I'm like, I fucking know how I feel about something, and then Manny <laughs> talks to me, and then I don't know how I feel about it anymore. Take pride. Now I know how Mary feels. <laughs> 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 Second guessing herself yeah, all day long. All day. Oh my Sorry. god, did Manny like his eggs this morning? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Oh, she'll know. She'll, um, she'll, she'll probably know if you don't like him because exactly. you're fucking. Pepper! Yeah, eggs knows. in your face. Yeah. Oh, did you you think I liked it? Oh, oh, shit. oh I'm, I'm am I picking again? Oh, dude, you're drafting now. Oh my god. Who, who, am I up back yeah, again? Probably. Oh, I have 35 god. seconds. I mean, Kyle Tucker's on the board. Who else? Otani. I have Otani on the board. You sure get Otani? Just get him. Trust really? me. All right. Got Big him. Big year. Bang. Bang. Big year. You're gonna even hear he's coming. He's gonna play pitcher. You're up again. LOL. I didn't know the quick turnaround here. Although I haven't been talking in the group chat, it's it's all snake talking. draft. Dude, there, oh, it's the snake draft. I've heard so Brian say that before, dude. So it's like a snake. It's like a snake. I'm a slither snake. Slither. Um, this is actually I'm getting a little excited, guys. Dude, like that was that was crazy. That was a thrill. I was like, whoa, thirty seconds off. I had no idea. I didn't know what was happening. Whew, already through two rounds, so, Michael. So hard. I picked one. I'm. I know you're. you're it's flustered. just our team. Look at dude. how flustered he is. I. It's so flustered. I'm a little lightheaded. Not gonna lie, guys. I could really use a cigarette right now, dude. I know. Oh, imagine this was like the '90s. We could smoke indoors still. I know. It'd be dope. That would be so sick, dude. I only got to experience that the, like, um, twice in my life. See, that's you know. At least you have yeah. that, though, dude. Dude, I went to. Uh, it was in Virginia. Nice. No, it was in yeah Arkansas. Yeah. Arkansas. Mm-hmm. It was in Arkansas mm-hmm. at the airport. They had a fucking spot that you could go in drink and smoke and it was the happiest i'd ever been 
That's pretty awesome. Yeah. You know what I was always cool when we were in Ireland and they had the cigarette machines in the oh, bars? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I think that was so I didn't cool. I smoke dude. at that time. Ah. I quit. I quit before yeah. that. There yeah. was there was it was too there was crazy how much they smoke in that country. Is this Star Wars? They we get all the these time. fucking wipes here. See, you know what? I loved those wipes. People complained about those in the new movies too. Like, do you I even know them. what Star Wars is? No, I, I loved it. I love oh, it. Oh, I hate. I, I've hated them since the original. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I hate the transition because it yeah. looks like some snowboarder did it on iMovie. Literally, and it pisses um, me off. Yeah, see, I'm I like, like that how though. That budget you're gonna do? And you're gonna fucking. Ugh. And then they stay true to it though by 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 I, doing it, dude. Nothing to get like. They no, yeah, it no, it and is. It's going on. I just fucking yeah. couldn't stand it ever. They did it, and it's going on. Yeah, it's still going um, on on everything. On speaking everything. of smoking cigarettes indoors, um, speaking of, because no, because it made me think about how I was watching Chasing Amy on here this week. Oh, um, it. what a fucking movie! And love there's it. one scene where Silent Bob is literally just ripping cigarettes in this oh, diner yeah. the whole time, like yeah. one after the other, and it got me thinking, like. Imagine doing that for like fucking takes on end, like you're just ripping a oh, bogey. Those, like, those aren't real. And you have you really you think so? No, some some guys back in the day would yeah. do it like really fucking. Mm. Tony would do it for a what, what, what are they? Uh, what are but they? Those use? are do like you know? they're probably just uh, uh, I forget what they put in them, but it just burns and it smokes, really? but you don't actually inhale. Something. You don't inhale it. Yeah, oh. I don't think there's anything. They're they're like fake cigarettes like that. I feel lied to. Yeah. No, I used um, to smoke like that when I was on set when I was on jobs. Mm. It used to be I could take a whole pack down in like five hours. Oh, it's freaking go, dude. It was dude. terrible. It was that's so kind of crazy. I, I actually there are... was I had a photo shoot one time and literally I had it like hanging yeah. from my mouth. I was like, I'm like I'm fucking cool. Yeah, man. Such a loser. That is cool, dude. Not at all. Not at all. Fucking cigarettes, dude. They were good, dude. I miss I miss that first When's the last time you had one? Uh, when did I meet Marianne? <laughs> I had a bunch after that. No, before that, dude. It's been almost. Mm -hmm. it's been well, good for you, 10 dude. Years. You remember your first cigarette? No. 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 Mike, you remember yours? No. I remember mine actually very distinctly. Really? Um. Yeah, it was actually freshman year of college. For I a used cigarette, to smoke dude. Cloves. The hell is that, that, dude? Cloves were like these. They they're like cigarettes, cigar mix with like, it wasn't a menthol taste, but it oh, was like gosh. a different thing. I hated menthols, so I couldn't. Yeah, yeah menthols are nasty. But these were a little bit. They it was a different flavor, but it was like mm. this weird thing. They were all black, <laughs> and it was like you were kind of smoking a cigarette and smoking mm -hmm. a cigar at the same. It was smoker. Yeah, it was when we when you were too young to understand what the real difference was. Mm. Like, oh shit, you got some clothes, dude. All right, yeah, cool, dude. Great. Stolen from my dad. Um, that's cool. Nah. My um, what, what know, was I mean, your what was your go to cigarette? Um, it has always been Marlboro Reds. Really, you yeah. were a cowboy killer. Yeah, dude. Um, I didn't mind them when when I need <sighs> when I really yeah. was having when I was deep in it. it really, was Marlboro Reds. I really like them. Uh, the gold one, or the gold ones are lights, right? Yeah, I used to do um, the Turkish. Those shows. are all right. The what? Turkish, Turkish silvers. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turkish silvers. The light no, blue, baby. Mm -hmm. They were so good. That's beat, dude. I'm yeah. sorry. Or the wides. Um, the little choders. Remember smoking those? a pancake. No, I never did those. Oh, Coming up dude. on you, Tony. I know. I'm on right now, He's dude. He's on, dude. He's on. Um, Jose Altuve. I need a second baseman, dude, right? Altuve. Mm, on. What do you got? Who else? Uh, we have Marcus Simeon, also second base. I wouldn't take him, though. Okay. Luis Robert, outfielder, which Robert. Um, Tatis Jr. was at outfielder, it said, which is kind of weird. Uh, Michael Harris is kind of good. Yeah. Um, what's the deal with like? Should I take a pitcher now? I don't know. I see. I don't know. I don't know that, dude. I feel like maybe not, dude. Take a pitcher now. Yeah. But there's a bunch of good guys left. Who? Like good. Jose Altuve. Like, there's a mad get guys. Altuve. All right, get that dude. Get him. Get him. Get Altuve. Base, Altuve. You like him so much. You love. Him. I mean, I feel you know, like he's pretty solid. I, dude, he always is good, dude. Was Josh Josh say anything? Nah, he's like letting him to it. Ah. It was ah. Altuve. He's gonna Altuve it up. Because I don't want Marcus Simeon. He's a freaking loser, dude. I mean, so is Altuve, but... Yeah, but out of the two, Altuve's going to take it more. He'll be a little bit more consistent. All right, dude. Altuve. My next turn's coming up again, so maybe... I know, I know nothing about this shit. So, I just actually interviewed him once. That's the only reason I'm telling you. Altuve, thing. really? About cheating? Yeah. It was the, Actually, you know what? It was the year that really? they won it. I went to spring training and did a piece... And it was on um, who was the Puerto Rican? Uh, Carlos Correa. Correa. It was on Correa, and uh, I'm up again. Now. What's his face was the second interview we did. 
and that was at the beginning of the year, and then they won it, and then all that shit came out. And Fuck, dude. Up. What? Someone fucking took Yamamoto. Dude, I hate it See? when Yamamoto gets taken. I know. Should have taken him, I dude. told you. Get we can take Pablo Lopez, Tyler Glass now. If he stays healthy. I know. I should have should listened to Michael. Me. I guess I should have, dude. Fuck! Um, Gaussman, pitcher day to day. Manny Machado. Oh, dude, I'd go with Manny Machado. Edwin Diaz is day to day. That's weird. 100% Manny dude. Machado. I'm not going Manny Machado, dude. 50 Manny seconds Machado. left, guys. You need guys. a pitcher, dude. Um, Glassdow for the Dodgers, dude. He's opening day, Korea series against the Padres. All right, let's do it. Let's fucking go, Tyra Glass. Now, I actually met him once. Reconnecting. What? What? Huh? Recon- Did that uh, kick me off? Dude, he oh, you off so bad. He's, not, he's not gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Yo, he's gonna get Manny Machado. <laughs> so pissed. What happened? What happened is right, dude. We lost. We lost. Wow. Did bro. I get the picking? Holy Yo, what shit, the fuck, dude. bro? That's messed up. This league's jinxed, dude. Josh did something. Josh, you stupid bitch. The minute the, <laughs> the minute you disconnected, we lost three people on the on the chat. So. <laughs> oh, this shit's all no, dude. Oh, oh got yourself. Always so bad. So bad. Why'd you still? I know. I don't know either. Did they crash? They might have crashed. Drafting now. He's drafting. Fuck. No. <laughs> that was so good, I don't, know Manny. I don't know what else I'm gonna do, man. Yeah, that looked great. Here, One hour like minute in, dude. Oh, it says it was paused, dude. Did you guys quit? Oh, guys- oh, Josh B's working on it. Okay, Josh, Josh. totally find you. I thought it was me. Guys. No rush. I'm here for the night. But yeah. now we can do rapid fire news. Yeah, welcome fucking back finally, to fucking baby. Sports port. Fucking snake trap. <laughs> It's resuming in a minute and a half. Oh my God! What's Every happening? fucking song is in my ear right Every now, dude. We have a ton of great oh rapid fire news. The first thing for you um, that I have. <laughs> rapid fire rapid news, fire. dude. I do want glass now. Am I? Oh my draft God! Draft is still paused. Glass now wasn't taken. That was the idea, dude. Um, I'm sorry, dude. Come on, dude. Again, Manny. Ready? Three, two. <laughs> I guess actually we only have two pieces of rapid fire. That's how you know he's he knows acting. I know, dude. Because the last shot would, yeah, it would be a delay. It, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the body couldn't respond. Now. Was, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it was the last thought. Oh um, man, I saw my. Come on, Tony. What the fuck are you doing? Over I don't know, dude. He's like looking your head's at in your jaw trims over here. I know, dude. I'm sorry. I'm I'm fucking this up, dude. <laughs> I'm over here pretending. What's the rapid news, dude? I don't know. It's not rapid anymore. I, I had this tag open. It's gone, dude. Oh it's gosh. it's sluggish news. Fuck. It's fucking snail mail, dude. I'm sorry, dude. Snail mail down. This is crazy, dude. The fucking draft. Dude, this sucks, this, dude. This I don't even want the draft to be right now. It's a Tuesday night. Who chose draft night to be Tuesday? Everybody knows it's Binge Buddies Tuesday. Oh wow, that's good. I'm sorry. Should I be writing something now? <laughs> All right, fuck you, I got it. Let's go, baby. Rapid fire news. Rapid fire news. Rapid fire news. First up, we have every single Spider-Man movie being re-released into theaters. Dressed as Spider-Man. Dressed as every single one from Toby all the way to Tom Arnold and then in between that one. So starting next month, Spider-Man? Not Tom Arnold. Tom Holland. Tom Holland Arnold should be (laughs) Spider-Man right fucking now, dude. So uh, starting next month, we have all of them back in theaters. We have, as of April 15th, Spider-Man 1, Tobey Maguire here. And then next week on the 22nd, Spider-Man 2. The following week on the 29th, Spider-Man 3. And then moving forward to Andrew Garfield, the amazing Spider-Man Emma Stone. I know what they're doing. Um, they're saying the what gets the most May, reviews. And then we have the 13th of May, the amazing Spider-Man yeah. 2. And then going you forward with Tom right, right? Holland oh, on Tom the 20th Arnold, of May. Baby. Spider-Man Homecoming, the 27th of May. Aunt May, um, Spider-Man Far From Home. And then July, excuse me, June 3rd, Spider-Man No Way Home. No way. That's with all three 
um goofy mcdoofs there's people are working on things dude i don't yeah i don't, I don't know what happened josh i got disconnected uh but that's the rapid fire news for friday i'm super still gonna see them in theaters definitely for sure pumped for obviously toby pumped Tobes. for specifically i believe it's far from home that's the jake Hall, tom holland one jake Hall's mysterio great one great. i'm dragging michael to that one for sure for sure <laughs> Kev dude's getting tight in the freaking chat right now. He's on edge. I'm on edge. Next piece of news, which is really the last one, which last isn't even thing. really rapid fire. It's probably going to be a little bit of a discussion. But Aaron Taylor Johnson reportedly getting an offer out there to be the next James Bond. He's expected to accept the offer within a couple of days. And if you don't know who he is, we'll look him up and show you a picture. He, he works um, he was here, just Jay. casted uh, by, uh, for the You're new Spider-Man uh, movie, no, the Craven the Hunter movie. Excuse he me. Plays, he, is he plays Craven. Lord Zed and Mighty Morphin Power Plumbers. He also was in Bullet Train. He was the twins, the the other the twin guy who ended up dying with the uh, poison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good, though. Oh, oh my god but aaron taylor johnson i'm down with him he seems cool now that you actually um, said that i know who he is and i'm down yeah no, i'm 100%. down as well i'm so he's down. british yeah and, and it is so he can look smooth i can imagine him in a tux oh yeah like, yeah he got shirtless yeah. in the beach somewhere yeah, yeah he's jacks with Steven. mike under his arm oh he's taking him to taking him what he's taking him into town to have dinner <laughs> yeah very nice of him, dude nothing like he a is nice, a nice guy yeah, just james nice bond dude right, james bond him, he's smooth downtown you know um all right, can we see? Uh, we can't find how to no. go back. Just oh. wait. So what happened? Did I pick a random guy? Just, just go for it. Just, just go. Oh, Tony, you're uh, Tony's, Tony. Just got Manny Machado. That's okay, dude. Uh, no, no, no. Totally just, just keep Manny. going. Dude, it's no big deal. Like, dude, honestly, getting... guys, like I'm not taking it this uh, seriously. Yeah. People are taking it so when seriously. You, when dude. you switch to cameras to me, he gets really mad. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's really crazy. Like, like right, right now, now he's pissed. Oh, see, no. no. <laughs> see how he faked it? He faked it so, so mad. Uh huh. Dude, like I that. think I, did I give myself a nosebleed or something? Dude, that's what are you picking? He's been punching oh, himself, dude. dude. Every time he, he well, he's picks, been he, he airboxes himself. this whole weekend. He's been airboxing, so he might have hit himself. Dude, I hate it when he punches that box like that, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trevor Simeon? What? That's, oh. guy? Like, that's exactly what I said. I didn't want. No, see. <laughs> Oh, this is entertaining. And he plays second base. I just dude. got Altuve. Oh. Fucking Altuve, dude. Tony's, Tony's pissed. He can't even see. I got my nose. He got a headache. It hurts right now. What the hell is going on? He got on? freaking that bum. Dude, it hurt. Oh. It hit him deep down in the. It's like someone put a pepper in my nose. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Josh says we're gonna roll with it. Yeah. He's what? Like, right, cool. No one else. Yeah, is I'm gonna, gonna, gonna roll yeah. with you and Phenomenal. smoke you. Smoke you. Um, <laughs> but uh. <Okay. laughs> You're like a young um, no you Seinfeld. Uh, not Seinfeld. Um, Stiller's dad, Tony. Jerry Stiller? Yeah. He was in Seinfeld. I know. I'm just saying, you remind me of a young him. Thanks, man. You remind me of a girl that I have on still, you know? I see her face whenever I look at you. Ah, thank you, buddy. What was that from? Usher. Song, bro. Oh, Usher? Get some class in you, Dude, honestly, if there's anyone who's not classy, it's Usher. It's Usher, dude. You remind me. What's up, bitch? Talking to you, Usher. <laughs> Calling you out, dude. Yeah, I'm Take dance, your fancy shoes, your freaking baby. stupid dance moves. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's going up your ass. <laughs> Tony, um, I can I can picture Tony doing those moves. He he's better. Yeah. Yeah, I can do a couple Some of fucking moves. Super Bowl moves. And Mike this. saw a few of my moves this weekend. He didn't really want to dance with me though. No, no, I did. No, he didn't like the vibe. It wasn't about it. And I was trying to get down. Where, where were you, you guys know? doing? The, what do you guys down. do for St. Patty's Day? Um, I'm assuming that's what this is for. Oh my God, dude, it was all weekend. All weekend. It was, it was, it was, it was, honestly, it was, like, it was a bender a little bit, dude. Yeah, for Tony. Yeah, yeah for sure. Really like it was 72 hours of just no water. <laughs> yeah. Um, and remember. honestly, like not a lot of food either. I did. Um, I have a my feeling liver this is. I think days. this is. Is this Josh? I think Josh, this is Josh. Are you calling Josh? Josh. Josh. Josh is calling. Uh, hello, you're live on Binge Buddies. Who is this? Guess who? Guess who? Say it again. Kind of sound like Marco. Jamaican right? Dan. Yep. This is Marco? No, it's not. Yes. Oh, it is Marco. Marco. Yeah, yeah. Just, he sounded like a little bit too manly to be Marco. I was like, is that oh, really? Like, wow. No, well, I, I have been making is. a man out of Marco. Oh. <laughs> How you doing, Marco? Um, hey, buddy. You, Josh B. I saw it. 
Um, I gotta keep my phone open by the dude, way for Jeff, the draft. Dude, you are a mess of a human. The being draft right is now. still paused, resuming it's in a minute paused, forty-five. Dude. It says minute forty-five. Guys, um, we'll this know. draft is a joke. All right, hold on. We'll Stay. know if Barry Sanders. Dude, gets who said that? Did you say that? I said it. Yeah, honestly, it's getting. It's kind of. It, it's almost hand, like dude, it's no almost knows. like you know the JV league. Drafts. Um, it does seem like I, I didn't realize it's everyone else's first time doing this. By the way, Marco, you're on the Roadcaster Bluetooth. Marco, yeah, hit him with the yep. Roadcaster. Yeah, hey. there we go, baby. What's up? Um, hey, hey, jo- Josh, I'm just kidding. By the way, it's 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 I really it's it's okay, dude. But it's now not- I just have excuses out my ass. Yeah. When, Marco, when, what movie did you watch? Yeah, last Marco, night? what do you got, dude? A movie. Yeah, would you watch anything? Yeah, you called them the movie podcast and television <laughs> show podcast. Like what? Like what? Did, what have you been watching? What's dude? going on? I watched a couple of bands before. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Repeat that. Band of Brothers. I watched a couple, couple of Panda Four. Oh, Kung Fu Panda Four. How? Oh was yeah. How was it? It was good. Yeah. yeah you said that last did it, episode. Did it, did, it like that. Ma- did it match up with the first three, or what's up? What's up? Huh? Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Entertaining. It was pretty decent. That's funny. I like it. I like Jack Black, dude. Jack Me Black too. He's killing it these days. Mm. I'm happy he's kind of like back, back at it. Being, yeah, yeah. Being just him. Um, are you guys still drafting? Yeah, yeah. We have thir- uh, 20 seconds till it resumes, and then I have some time until it's my next pick. Dude, so because he's not, a um, snake. I don't know how long this is gonna be. Dude. Um, but Margo, um, not that you're still on the phone here. Did you watch Dream Scenario? Um, um, I, I know you were commenting about. it. Did you see it? Marco, what the, the, the movie Dream Scenario? <laughs> uh, nah, I've never watched. Oh, that's all right. Uh, you see why I'm um, you see why I'm gonna wrestle Marco you know when I see him. Though? It is every time I talk to somebody about this movie, they're yeah. like fucking Nicolas Cage. No, I'm like, why is everyone hating on Nicolas Cage? So they they, they the think he's like a live, subpar dude. actor. He's People give him hilarious, dude. Uh, they give him a bad rap, and honestly, like, really? he had some great scenes. Yes. Where, like, when he was, again, at the end, though, like he had good acting. He was sad. Yeah. He wanted to go back to his wife. Yeah. And when he was getting tired of people for being, like, upset with yeah. him and for when the dreams. Was, like, but when he was being creepy, yeah. dude, the fact that oh. it was a thriller at one point, I was just like, oh, dude. But, oh. The one flashback of the, the girl when they're having dinner, it's mm-hmm. like the first time you see him actually do something a little bit kind of like, murderous and yeah, it was yeah. like the dude's wife and she like gets up and leaves yeah, dude yeah. when you see that flashback i was like "Ooh!" Mm-hmm. i'm like is that what the rest of the movie's gonna be yeah i'm like am, am i gonna see some cool shit no mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. no well i mean oh yeah. it's okay it's over all of a sudden it's over it's back up well michael Sarah. thank god for michael Sarah. He, you know actually um, i did like his character yeah me too fucking hilarious his dude. character yeah, yeah. and the other lady that was fucking just a bitch but very <laughs> <laughs> the not the one that had the dreams about him, but the right. other one that was at the table with him. It's like is Obama is Obama still part? He goes no. Oh that yeah, no, that sale. No, 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 that's not here. What's his name? Was Obama. His, what was his name? Was his name Paul in the movie? Uh, fuck, yeah, Paul. Paul was Paul, right? Yeah, I thought so. Um, it's my dad's name. Oh. Um, is your dad in our dreams? Not, not that I know of, but it'd be kind of crazy if you start to be. Imagine. <laughs> um, we'll find out. Marco, you're still here, dude. Yep. Favorite Spider Man actor? What do you got so far? Favorite Spider Man actor? I love yeah. Spider Man, Tobey Maguire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what dude. What is you guys' obsession He's with He's the Toby? legend. I don't know, dude. MJ. Yeah, dude, that those was it movies, right there. Those movies got ruined for everybody. Um, I'm sorry they're playing back in games. Yeah. Yeah, come on. I mean, I mean, Andrew Garfield. I mean, like, also, Garfield when, did okay, yeah, but that? yeah, but like, not better than Toby, no. and neither did Tom Holland, to be honest. I don't know. I like Tom Holland. I like Tom Holland's. I like Tom Holland's style of 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 Spider Man a little bit better than Toby's. And um, I just didn't like those first few movies. They were just fucking. They just did not do it for me. She, they were too uh, comic booky. At the time where everything was too comic booky, they she, were trying to bring these movies in, and it just. I don't think they did. That's yeah. Me. No, That's I, I I do agree. I mean, I think that. Honestly, I thought the, the second one with Doc Ock, I thought that was a great comic booky feel. Yeah. Um. Even the third one, I mean, I didn't mind too much the was whole. The second, like, which one was the one with the Sandman? That was the third one. It was the Sandman. Yeah, it was, the, it was the Hobgoblin, right? Yeah. It was James Franco, and then Venom too was in it, which our boy from that '70s show Fucking, was, yeah. you know, played uh, Venom, which well, not Venom, but you know, you know what I mean. Um. And you know, I thought it was the oh, Keith Metzger says good evening, people. Happy birthday, Keith. Happy birthday, Keith. Keith. Well, finally, I've been waiting all day for Keith you. you. Um. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me, boys. Uh, you got you got time crunch too? Because I mean, I was planning on being here all night to be honest, dude. Good for you. Because you're not leaving. Fucking dude. 
Dude, you don't even know. Um, I'll do my. I'll, 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 I'll just do it in my car. But I'll so, FaceTime you guys, and I'll just be driving around. <laughs> doing it in your car, right, dude. You want to do it in my car, dude? You want to do it in that car? <laughs> um, but, dude, did you know that Sam Raimi, right? Yeah. The guy who directed Sam the Tobin. Yeah. Apparently, that first, uh, you're welcome, Keith. Let us know how your day went. Uh, I would love to hear it. The dogs and stuff, the family. Um, the did you know that he originally wanted like an actual like prosthetic makeup mask for the Green Goblin? Like to make him look yeah. like the, an actual Green Goblin from the comic books. Now, instead of the mask, but the like the um, the studio didn't want to do it, and they wanted the mask. And he was saying like, "Well, he wants to show Defoe's like face." Acting. Yeah, yeah. yeah he he can't really he's a great actor. Mask. This is mean. This, Dude, that means I'm up. Dude. I hope everybody just heard that. We're gonna go. Um, out. School Bull. He's gonna get another second baseman, guys. Max Freed. No, I need a pitcher. I need a pitcher right now. Framer Valdez. Fuck, dude. Greg, know, Greg Maddox. Um, Greg Maddox is not around. Josh Great Hader, pitcher. your bullpen guy. I need starters. Um, Scoople, though, like from Detroit. No way, dude. Scoople's? Peralta from Minnesota. Stacy Peralta. Yeah. I mean, Max Free's gonna have a lot of wins. Probably a great record. I say you go with Free. Max. <laughs> Oh, dude, he chose. I kind of like how it how that does that, so now I don't have to worry about looking, and it yeah. just it's gonna now sound you, like now that. You can sound it. Um, but how crazy is that, dude? And yeah. then he released like images, practice of, of the yeah. of the mat. I think it would. Oh, dude, you're back. Oh, up. fucking snake, dude! Draft. You got snaked. No, I think um, I definitely I agree with you. I think if they would have done that that way, you know, like pointy ears, green, almost like the um, what's the, what you call it? Who's the the race the the alien race from Superwoman or Supergirl? Yeah, which I don't know. You know, I don't know. Do you dude. do you remember that though? They're like green. They're the ones from uh, the same um, the same Emma Jackson show, Invasion. Yeah, I didn't watch that. Is that what it was? You're really killing me here. You're not really giving me anything to work with. Green alien, fucking Wonder Woman. Yeah. Fucking Wonder Woman. Woman <laughs> green alien, fucking, fucking Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. Huh? Um, what'd you say, Mikey? He's talking. Um, I'm talking to talking. Ash on TikTok. Linda Carter? No, what? Linda Carter? Wasn't she the original Wonder Woman? No, no. I'm talking to... No, not Wonder Woman. Supergirl, dude. You definitely said Wonder Woman, though, I feel like. What? Green? It says Superwoman, and then I said Supergirl. Green I fucked race, it up, dog. Supergirl? Are you sure about that? Supergirl? Yeah, or the bad guys from Invasion. Like, fuck. Or the, they're friends in Invasion, technically. <laughs> Those things? The Miss Martian? Big yeah. Twist? Yeah, no, that's not the right. Yeah, it said Miss Martian, Big Whatever. Twist. I don't know, dude. Either way. I don't know what the would, fuck would, you're it, talking about uh, right now, That's because you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, a lot of water pressure had to replace the pressure tank switch and gauge. Uh, Marco is still on the line, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Yo, living, this is why I'm gonna wrestle, life, dude. Marco. Let me talk to you, brother. <laughs> wow. It is Marco, over for you, your pansy <laughs> head ass. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna crunch you, and I'm gonna eat you, brother. <laughs> Did you just throw up, dude. <laughs> He's <laughs> maybe just passed out just now. He threw up and passed out. He's bad. He he said, like, There's probably like Marco, like a he bunch of like dirty like Arby's wrappers. Oh, and, 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 and like, pizza uh, everywhere from Domino's. Domino's pizza, Papa John's. Papa John's. Um, let's see. Um, third baseman pitcher. Oh yeah, someone took Edwin Diaz. Oh, Brad Miller's available. He I played do need in a the third NBA. baseman. Um, wow, Glaber Torres, dude. Get Glaber. Glaber. You already have a second baseman, though. Um, yeah, I think I have two now. You should totally <laughs> get Glaber. I think. See, how do I look at my team? Wow, Riley's drafting right now. Watt Riley. Totally get Glaber. Like, totally. how do I look at my fucking? Shout out Ashley. She sent me uh one heart, one lightning bolt, and one tiny diny. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Shohei DH, Thank and you. one rose. Day. Um. Oh, Simeon, dude, that's so tough, dude. Simeon. I'm just saying random words now, guys. I'm not really Simeon, random. I'm just kind of repeating what you're saying. Riley's drafting that stupid bitch. <laughs> Riley! <laughs> Marco. Um, all right, dude. So um, oh, there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, was it? Uh, I wanted to ask Marco another question. Um, oh, James Bound. James Bound. James, James, James Bound. Bound. James Bound. Do you know I'm Bound, Bound for glory. 
Um, listen, Marco, favorite James Bond? That was the next question. And do you watch James Bond? Because like, uh, like some people I know haven't even seen any of it. Like Michael, for example. I've seen, dude, what? He's never seen Casino Royale. I saw or Casino. Quantum of Solace. I did not see Quantum. N never saw Skyfall. I fell asleep. I saw Those are all the oh, when the too. sky falls. What did you say, man? Those are just a Marco like that. that. Majestic voice. You didn't see License when to Kill. You didn't say you only live twice. Yeah. I saw you what's you his name? What's our boy's name? The uh, from uh, from from from, from uh, Robin Williams movie. What? What? Pierce Bronson. Yes. Yeah, Golden Eye. You saw? Oh yeah. Die another day. Die another day. Another day. Yes, I saw all three. Which of those. one of those? Did you all see? three. All three. <laughs> yes, baby. Tomorrow never dies. I believe. Never is, ever. Is, or die another day. I think is with the guy. Who was from Vietnam and then he got I've seen bombed, that was my guy back and now that was my bond white man and now Jay's my Mike bond and Halle Berry is in now it. Jay's my bond um and it's in Greenland Greenland it's in Greenland dude that's what the Aston Martin Aston Martin totally underrated car dude you, you probably underrated didn't see any Sean Connery one dude Con um, that's what Keith said other than that thing then that the tank then it was good had a birthday lunch with my daughter went shopping bought myself sunglasses doing my birthday dinner tomorrow night because of the water going to the because cheesecake the factory Ooh, that cheesy. just opened never ever been to the Whoa. whole family unit is gonna go all right so the whole family unit's gonna go unit foxtrot out um you got to um the lettuce wraps appetizer the chicken lettuce oh, yeah. wraps that they're called Amateur. and Amateur. the Amateur. buffalo Amateur. bomb big fan asian pov gang man. big ass dude Dodge. The oh, Cheesecake Factory is a family restaurant, Michael. With a fucking God, dude. 20 page yeah. menu. With a novel written by Stephen King for its <laughs> menu, dude. Um, Do you want Marco? Like, I'm, I'm, Mark. I'm loving Marco, the back. Who's your favorite James Bond? Still haven't told me. Still answer. haven't even said anything, dude. Uh, favorite James Bond? Oh. Is, is Daniel Craig. Daniel, Daniel Craig. Craig. Oh, no, wait, who'd you say? Daniel, Daniel Craig. Craig. Marco, who'd you say? It doesn't matter who you said, brother, because you're a piece of poo and you're going down. My God, you're a piece of poo. I'm keeping it PG. No, I agree. It's beautiful. Um, I'm Keith just says, I don't know anything about that place. Free sort of refills. The root beer is on <laughs> tap, brother. Free, free, free soda refills. The There's the commercial for them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dude, first of all, like, how sick is that like, when restaurants do that? Like, Shout out, Ash. Soda refills? Hold free. on. What? What? Like, I hate people that have this problem. What restaurants other I mean higher end, but seriously, you grew up in diners, places. some diners. Yeah, don't that's, do why, that. that's why I fuck diners. You're up. I didn't All have right. those. Uh, Zach Eflin could be good. Zach Efron is a great pick. <laughs> Brad Miller, I probably Bradley. prefer. He could win an Oscar yeah, in the future. He really could. Um, shout out Ash. He sent me now three roses, Ash. one heart puff, and one oh, finger heart. Fuck. I do need a catcher. Tony would never get that. Dude, he wouldn't get a heart. He would puff. not even get a he heart. He would get a heart puff and a finger blast. He would not. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what the fuck you said. I don't know what's happening. He did talk, but this someone's... Be a little bit. Well, the catchers aren't that important. I guess I'm on the clock right now. He One 60 clock. seconds left, guys. Um, I have second baseman. I have utility player. I have an outfielder. I picture another outfielder. Um, I could use another pitcher. Eight, maybe Eflin. I also need like oh Stop. day to day, dude. I did fucking 45 seconds, guys. Uh, should I take Miller or the Dodger? Another Dodger. Do the third baseman, Alex Bregman. Ah! Bregman, third base. Shout out Ashley. Just sent me five more roses because uh, I'm cooler than Tony. She said, Brad That's so kind of, funny. Like, isn't great oh, though. Shit. Um, wait, who said that? Ashley, she said, You're cooler than Tony. Here's five roses. Here's five roses. Oh, give me the pitch. Pitch is pitch, 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 pitch hard to come by. And I fucking they they blew it for me. Uh oh. With tire glass now. Yeah. What do we got from Keith? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Where's the bucket? Yeah. Um, I'm not in the background it's, it's, to go get it. No, yeah, it's, I, I it's felt, taking I a break, I dude. felt like I was in uh, too close of a city. And then here, I'm gonna I'm gonna go again real quick because oh it's a snake draft. Dude, he's gonna go again inside of the bucket. Snake. Right now, a licky boom 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 is is drafting. Yeah, licky, licky boom team. boom is is yeah. He's the one who has the bucket. Um, right Keith <laughs> wants his bucket for his birthday. Yeah. Oh, dude, bucket birthday. Um, I mean. I rent it out for birthday. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Birthday, birthday rental parties. bucket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, at least twenty four hours notice. Yeah, because yeah. it's got to get kind of semi clean, spit shine. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, guys. Yeah, that was um, great. Uh, oh, what oh, else? Oh, he's up again. Oh. Fuck that guy took Bregman. He took he took Bregman. Dude. Why is it every time I'm like, oh, I can take this guy, and then of course because when it comes you up, should the, go the, to the instinct. You're not smart. You, oh, yeah, I think that's probably a good point. That's they, literally they why literally they know exactly who you want, dude. 
Like, oh, wow, I probably oh, pretty yeah, good. That was a great guy. You're giving them fucking straight up stats. They'll just listen to you on who they should pick. Fuck, dude. Live here on Binge Buddies. He's a dunce cap. Oh, Glaber Torres. Do I get, get a catcher? Dude, I think I mean, you should get Glaber. Fuck, dude. I already have two <laughs> second basemen on my team. You're such a bad drafter. I know, dude. Um, last year, I do need a bullpen guy, Emmanuel Chris. <laughs> oh, Zach Eflin, though, I feel like out of the bullpen, dude. Shoot, Zach Efron, Tony, Tony Manny, dude, come on, baby. Eflin, dude, he got <laughs> Eflin in, dude. But come on, Cleveland, dude. Yeah, Cleveland. Those guys. I have thirty seconds, guys. Dude. I mean, geez, take some more pitchers. Why not? Take the pitchers. I have two pitchers. Let them know who they should pick next. 20 seconds, guys. 20 seconds. The countdown begins. So much pressure. Can you see it in his eyes? Can you see it in his frow? Like Will Smith. See, I'm Will saying Smith it over. Is it, dude. Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. Is Smith is an actual no, Will Smith. Fresh Prince is about to hit some What the rummies, fudge? Dude. There it is. Um, he chose Will Smith. No, I went with no, uh, uh, Emmanuel Cleese, pitcher for the choose, Cleveland man. Guardians, dude. Formerly, um, you know what the deal is. That guy picked up <laughs> Dylan Cease. Someone picked up Dylan Cease. Yeah, Cease He's... his way out of there. See what kind of catches are left. Wilson Contreras, Yandy Diaz. Yeah, my, uh, Sean Murphy, dude. Probably not getting all of the... Uh... <sighs> uh, I'm really disappointed in you. I mean, that's it, though, for us, right? We, uh, let's, think... let's, let's get Manny out of here. Uh, it's going to be a little while before I draft again. That's what you think. You're going to have the you like that, don't you? Uh, it's really hilarious. Does. He's getting real, real dirty. So, what do you guys think of the set? What do you think of the shots today, Manny? I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Pretty comfy. I mean, I wish we had more of even more comfy. I want to be chilling like this. Just the fuck do you want? And have like a camera a down, like, pointing yeah, at his like, face. I'm just like looking. Yeah, 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 and the camera's I'll up live. there. I'll live like here. Right? <laughs> oh, this is nice. I like this, dude. On Friday, when you're like Facetiming in from home or wherever. I'm gonna do it in my bed. Do that shot. You should no. You should have like you should st like stand up a like a a mattress behind you and just, with a pillow, and yeah. you're standing, but it kind of looks like you're yeah, laying down. Like I'm lying down on it. Yeah. That'd be freaking or hilarious. Or I might just lie dude. down and do it. <laughs> it's okay. That'd be crazy. It'll be good. That'd but be I'm different. Go, I'm going, I think I'm going back to Cannes, so I'll have to do another uh, Cannes episode with that my, cowboy hat. With my cowboy. Oh, hat. that's so sick, dude! I love that hat. It's gonna be good. Gonna be good. You still have that hat? I think so. It's is it kind of like the Dune Two bucket? Yeah. You know, like... oh, one hundred percent. It comes out for the wow. good stuff. <laughs> when I gotta look good with the Dune bucket, you know what I mean? Mm. Presentable. Mm. Yeah. In the middle of cons mm. with my Dune bucket on the fucking porch, <laughs> just hanging out. Bucket in, mm -hmm. bucket out. <laughs> Keith, I'll be sending you the bucket soon, but mm -hmm. enjoy for your birthday. He says he's got to put his daughter to bed. <laughs> <laughs> well, things are just going to get a little strange. Don't worry about it. <laughs> While you're gone, dude. Welcome back. Oh, my God, dude. That's so messed up. Don't worry. <clears throat> when you get back, the only thing that's going to be on screen is that bucket. You're going to be talking that's about awesome. that's awesome. going to be live. Yeah, yeah. That's it's going to be a live gift. bucket for you, bud. One day she'll know. One day. <laughs> You know what daddy did on his birthday. Yeah. Uh, what what yeah. were you doing when the Dune 2 movie came yeah. out, man? Dad, I was pretty young at the time, but do you remember when that Dune 2 bucket was released? And then he like has it. That's so Raven. Movie? That's so Raven yeah. moment. Yeah. This is the bucket. It was oh a my weird God. time you back the in bucket? the day. No, the bucket's you just like alive now. It's like, Keith, don't tell him about us. You don't have to know. Oh, oh my God! This is me, you Keithy. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of like half Keith, half Dune two buckets <laughs> running around. Oh my God! It's gonna look great. <laughs> we just made the the horror film for the we Dune did. five spinoff, and it's funny because like Keith is putting his daughter to bed. He hasn't really yeah, seen any of this. <laughs> We got probably, talk. You might never see this. But you dude. know what the best part is? What? Marco's still on the line, dude. Listening in. <laughs> yeah, Marco. Marco. He's up there, man. <laughs> I, lo I love the one little mm. giggle. Just like, <laughs> I know. He's that he's known for the giggles. That's wonderful. That's giggle his wrestling monster, name, dude. Giggle Giggle Monster. Giggle McGimpleson. <laughs> almost my turn right now, dude. Again. You're we're dude, I'm leaving. If it's almost your turn. Um, I'm going to take Alvarez, I think, as my catcher. That'd be sick. Yes. That would, that would Tony Alvarez. Alvarez. That'll shoot, save yeah. you. Tony Alvarez. Josh B says, Marco. Josh B, how's my, how's my draft? I haven't actually looked at his draft. Ash is sending me 
so many. A heart puff, a finger heart. That just sounds so Dude, wrong. I love um, a tiny diny, hand heart, tiny diny. Yeah, a lightning bolt and a high bear and a TikTok thingy. Dude, she fucking Riley took glass down. He was listening. Riley, you what a ride. He definitely was. Yo, when he comes here, we could beat him up. Yeah, we'll we should show him on totally Friday. Beat him yeah, up. oh, we'll beat him up, baby. Oh yeah, I'll virtually um, beat him up. Oh, that's the worst <laughs> kind right there. Yeah, he's oh, not making it out alive. He's about to get bullied. Yo, there's like so many more picks left. There's so many more picks. Like we're not even halfway done, dude. Daddy, I'm Torres. here with you. I'll game with you on the live TikTok. Oh, you do that. God. You guys are about to um, live it. I'm gonna. I, I gotta like do work after this, dude. dude. We like, gotta work. Oh, really? Actually, yeah, I gotta go work. Yeah, I gotta like break this down have and have a, it ready for sports sports tomorrow. I have work to do. I gotta edit. Brian, um, Barnes would like that setup. You guys sit there. I'll produce tomorrow's show. Can you imagine both you and Barnes? Seven a.m. You want to do that? You might as well. Can you gonna be like here this? for that? Shut the front door. I'm here. All right, then we'll keep it like this to be me and me and me and Brian. We'll talk about the fucking. You think you like it? Oh, see, I told you you're gonna be dude, back up. Dude. That was close, dude. Jesus. There's Alvarez. He's the catcher. Get him, right there, dude. Don't yeah. make the mistake make your the uncle mistake. made. I know, dude. You made the mistake. Salvador Perez, Salvador though. No. Who'd you pick? He chose Salvador. You did Salvador. Yeah. Did. You're an idiot. No, I did. Don't listen to Manny, dude. <laughs> I, I did Francisco Alvarez. <laughs> I'm up again. <laughs> Don't Don't fucking listen to Manny. He says, I have no idea what's happening, dude. Oh, oh God. God. I can't even have my headphones on anymore. It's so hot. Well, Castellanos for the outfielder. Castellanos Reynolds. for the outfielders. Diaz from the Reds. He's Joe Musgrove. <laughs> Oh, Dansby Swanson. He had an off season, though. Mr. Swanson had one. Yeah, <laughs> Dansby. Tell Marte, second base. Don't need another second base for no. I think you need Glaber Torres still. <laughs> He's gone now. Oh, dude. dude. Who took Glaber? Make a trade. It doesn't matter, dude. Uh, Seawald? As if, dude. Seawald? Seawald. Do I go for. Who are these people? Dansby Swanson. Shortstop, Jeez. I don't have. Dude, I told you you should probably get Glenn I need Torres. a shortstop, dude. Never heard of Chipper Jones? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Marco. <laughs> I can't hear him anymore because I had to take my headphones off because it's too hot. It's like a fucking sound up in this bitch. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm yeah, leaving. I'm sorry, Manny. I'm leaving. Yeah! yeah! You got it. All right. Um, I guess we'll end the live. Yeah, now, man. Guess, dude, right, guys? I mean, See you later. We picked them. Um, I have a quick question. Uh, oh, uh, this fucking guy says nothing yeah. the whole time. Man, he's like, I got to go. <laughs> he's like, I got a quick I got question. A question. Goes, ah! Marco, of course. Marco, What's your what question, you got, Marco? Any question you got, man. As many as you want. I'll no, not as many. I, are you guys going to go see Ghostbusters? Yeah, of course, dude. Are you, are you going to go see it? What are we going to see? Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Oh, yeah. Dude, I actually was kind of stoked about the new Ghostbusters. I know the the storyline for uh, at first seemed a little off, but then I was like, you know what? It might actually not be bad. And it's bringing the old guys in, which I like. Yes. I like that Me they're too. back and they're just, you know, hopefully they don't go too uh too crazy Like Harrison with it. Ford CGI on a horse. Yeah, like not even, I don't whoa, even think whoa, they'll whoa, do whoa, that. Whoa, pump the brakes, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You heard me, buddy. Buddo, you heard me, Billy. buddy. You fucking you heard me, buddy. Jones, I know he's obsessed. Ridiculous. Indiana Jones. First three. The That's Dial it. of Destiny was a great Dunk. movie, dude. Dunk. Dunk. First three. Dunk. Fell asleep. They should have stopped at that. You. They should have. a loser. Asleep. Fucking stop. You yep. should stop. Stop it. You both stop should it. stop Ooh, living now. That was the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Shia LaBeouf. Stupid. Original Carrie dumb, Allen, dude. Dumb uh, as Kate fuck. Blanchett. No, Terrible. no, no. Me, the ants no. are gonna kill all of us and yeah. take over Deadly the world. Ant. Fuck you. you. No. You know no. No. how important ants no. are, dude. Aliens. Let's get to the, the ecosystem, dude. Fuck that. Crystal skull. Fuck. You know who's that. a big uh a believer big in that but, crystal skull thing? Crystal but, skulls. Dan Aykroyd. Good but, for good big for alien guy. But, it is good for him, dude. Trading places. Jamie Lee Curtis. Eddie Murphy. I don't know what that means. I don't even know what that has to do with anything. It just sucks. Yeah. Uh, Stop. First yeah, three. That's it. Tony, Tony trying to tell me First Harrison three, Ford it. looking good at the CG. Dude, he looks great. Does his own stunts, no, my guy. Does. You're shot box, dude. Maybe, no, you think does, fucking bro. Jordan's cool, man? He's not doing his own stunts right now. Harrison Ford is. Yeah, that's right. Bye. What is Jordan doing? Jordan who? Michael. He's talking about Michael Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> 
Michael B. Jordan? <laughs> Him too. Fucking bum ass. Fucking specify. Bum ass, speckify. rich ass, thick ass. <laughs> you got a specify, dude. Specify, dude. I'm a specify. <laughs> <laughs> nah, dude, fuck that. It's still terrible. Shia LaBeouf. Boo for next. Tony, can you close this show out? Listen, like he's Manny's patiently listen, waiting for you. Any one of you guys should have closed it out. Any one of you guys had the power to do so. Any you're in charge of your own destiny. Dial of destiny. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's so terrible. Get the fuck out of here. Dial of destiny. Donald dude, Destiny. So bad. They were all said no. Stop. That's right, dude. That would be my porn star name. Stop. Donald Destiny. Donald Destiny. Donald Destiny in <laughs> Deep Stroke. <laughs> Raiders of the deep stroke, Raiders of the anal cavities. Yeah, dude. Um, the so dick of destiny. The dick of destiny. That's a terrible. I've probably seen that movie at some point. Oh, okay. can, can we leave now? Uh, yeah, I want to thank Marco. Can we in. fucking leave Marco? Marco could have tossed it out of here. Too. Help me wait for Marco. Marco to toss wants it. to stay, dude. He's got his fucking Xbox tower up there, dude. Um, my bad. Dude, you're, kicking um, you're kicking your whole camera. It's shaking. Yeah, so, oh, shit, my bad. See, that's, tornado that, that's the tough part about having them on the table, although I like it, but any, you know? Look at that. The Godzilla. Dude. Okay. We've been here for too long. All right. All right, All right focus. Hung, hung, hung. Good night, Marco. Marco's out. Marco's like, fuck this, I'm out, guys. Um, Marco, I want to thank you so much for calling in, dude. Yeah, dude. That was um, awesome. always love that. Josh B, appreciate you, but as well as all, all the other fans. As happy well, birthday, Keith. Out there. A huge happy birthday. Cheesecake factory. Fun having ass Keith. Um, Marco having a good time with it as well. Yes, sir. Um, this was fun. Yeah, I love the oh. late night vibes here. What do we gotta watch for Friday, bud? Are you asking? Yeah, me? Nickelodeon. Yeah. Oh, 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 so quiet on set. Um, you know, you have to finish it. I haven't seen any of it. We'll Michael's watch watching it, it on TikTok. Watch it. We gotta talk we'll watch about it. it. We'll talk about it. Obviously, um, all you nineties. Dan Schneider already has that response Fucking interview out there. Scum yeah, he's a crazy loser. dude. Um, it's on Max. Uh, quiet on set is on Max. We'll watch that for Friday. Yep. I'm almost up again, so I'm gonna toss this out. Dude, he's almost um, up. I love all the fans out there. Friday, quite on set. Watch it. Max documentary is crazy. Happy birthday, Keith says Marco. Appreciate the shout out to Keith from Marco. Marco. Um, we'll see you back here 7 a.m. Sports Port tomorrow. Special time. Right and then, of here course, on right the here couch. on the casting couch and gaming corner tomorrow night. So stay tuned. We'll see you here for then. Manny will see you on the internet on Friday. Night. And ever have a good night, everybody. Hentai. Hen Hey guys, Tony here from Downtime TV checking in. I want to thank all our fans out there who's been liking, subscribing, sharing our content. You guys are the best. You guys are our bloodline. You make us love.